Hey Knitters, it's Friday and um, it is also almost Passover because it's starting tonight so that'll be fun, eight days of eating matzah. Um, but yeah, I'm on break from school which is cool for, I rhymed, um, for like a week so that should be fun. And since I'm on break, I really want to get some crocheting done because I haven't gotten any crocheting done this week. Um, like I just want to at least, if not finish a project, at least get a good start on it because I feel like I haven't crocheted or knitted in forever because I've had so much schoolwork. But I'm gonna do that. Um, I actually think there's something on a crochet, maybe if I can do it. Um, I saw a pattern on this website called Nerd Garimi, um, which is a crocheted crochet hook, which is so meta that I must make it. Um, and what else? Um, Jenny, um, the Top Gear uh, poster thing, um, your room, first of all, your roommate is cool. Second of all, um, Top Gear is a really good show. Like, I'm not into cars, and Top Gear is the kind of show that, like, they've somehow made a car show into an entertainment show, and it's just very entertaining. I can't explain it. But I'm not going to force anyone to watch it. I'm just saying it's really good. It's always on BBC America, which is why, um, like, me and my family will always end up watching it. Um, and my dad went to England, and he brought brought back a Top Gear board game, which was hilarious and really weird to play. Um, but yeah. Also, I like your sock, and I haven't made socks in forever, and I really want to make socks now because of yours. So, I should do that. Um, Amber, I love the blanket design of the blanket you're working on. I like the, the down, I don't know what to call it, whatever, the longer crochet stitches in front. But, um, yeah. It looks really, really nice, and I like the pattern. Um, and I like the entrelac, entrelac hat that you're going to be working on, because entrelac is one of those things that I keep meaning to try out, and it is really, really pretty. Um, Kayla, Tardis store, oh my god, so, so cute, and I love it, and it's the best, and I'm jealous of your Tardis store, because it is really, really awesome. Um, yeah, I kind of, like freaked out when I saw that. <laughs> also, you're watching Misfits, which I was gonna be like, whoa, I totally watched it, and then I realized that I <laughs> never finished it. I only watched, like, half the first season? Is there more than one season? I don't know. But yeah, it's a it's a good show that I should probably finish at some point, maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna talk about Hunger Games now, so go away if you don't want to hear spoilers. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna mention a couple of things, because I don't want to go over everything. Uh, the thing about the camera work being like that kind of shaky, uh, almost like documentary kind of feel, I guess, like the someone holding a camera. Um, I actually loved that. I agree that it, I think Amber said that it makes, you know, the whole thing more tense. Um, but it just felt right. I can't explain it. Like, it felt like that should be how those scenes were shot. So I really liked the shaky camera things. Um, I loved Rue. Oh my god. Um, and... Yeah, like half my te my theater was in tears when she died, and it was just so good. Um, and I love that they show the rebellion in District 11, was it? 10? I don't know. Whatever district she's from, where the re where the rebellion started, they you know they had everyone watching the screen and then just starting freaking out. Um, I loved that. I think it's actually not even in this book. It's supposed to be in the next book where they mention that, but I loved it. I think it worked really seamlessly and worked really well. And I loved the careers. I loved the careers so much because they like made you hate them but then you realize that these are kids who kind of have been bred for this and were almost like they're going to die. They're going to you realize that they're all like friends and joking and whatever and you're like oh my god they're gonna have to kill each other if they want to win. Um, and especially Kata like towards the end when he's like on the cornucopia I'm just like you suddenly realize that this is just a kid. Like, I don't know, I just, I loved it so much. Um, and what I didn't like was at the end of the film, you have, uh, with Candace and Peta, like, at the end of the book, it was very clear, Candace made it very clear to Peta that she did not have those feelings for him, and that it was all done for the camera, and, you know, so that they can get out of there alive. But Peta really does have feelings for her. But it's like, it's very clear at the end of the book, but it's not clear in the movie. In the movie, it seems almost as though that that cave scene at first just seems like bad acting but it's supposed to be like I mean I thought it was okay but like it's supposed to be like 
awkward and not quite right because she is sort of acting for the capital. But I don't think that was clear as it could have been. Um, but that was actually really my only big problem with it. Also, um, so I get Rolling Stone magazine accidentally <laughs> because one time I bought tickets and they were like, yo, here's a free year subscription of Rolling Stone. So now I get it and normally I don't really read it, like I give it to my brother. But, uh, I don't know if you can see because the light's shining on it, but that's, yeah, that's Jennifer Lawrence on the cover, looking cool. And then inside, she's America's kick-ass sweetheart. Um, so yeah, I got really excited to see that article in the Rolling Stones and I read it. And she's crazy, like, in the article, she's just nuts, but, um, she's cool. She's, like... I, I don't know. I At first I was like, there was all this hype about her, like after the movie came out where people were just like, oh, Jennifer Lawrence is the best person ever and the best actress better actress ever. And people were like as obsessed with her as they are with like uh, Emma Watson or whatever. I don't know. But she really is so cool. More I re like see interviews with her and stuff like that. So I don't know. I'm a fan. Um, and I think she was really well cast and I think she's awesome. Um, that's it. I think that's it. Yes. Anyway, this weekend is like super crazy holiday weekend, um, so if you celebrate Passover, guys, then have a good Passover and enjoy your Seder tonight. And if you celebrate Easter, which I believe is a Sunday, um, then have a good Easter. And if you don't celebrate either of those, then just have a really good weekend. And I think that's it. Yep. Bye!